What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Montz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Subscribe to our free OSAE newsletter to get training videos, player spotlights, motivational quotes, and much more delivered to your email inbox weekly. Today, we're learning how to defend a cross. Defending is much more than just being strong and fast. It's about being smart. In this video, you will learn tips to help you be a smarter defender when defending a cross. This OSA video is sponsored by our parent company, BelieveInItApparel.com. Our mission is to inspire athletes that if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Before we get into the key points, let me first show you the wrong way to defend and then the right way to defend. For this video, we are using a game situation when a winger is dribbling down the sideline and you are tracking back with an attacker to defend them when the winger makes a cross. This is a game play situation, not a dead ball situation like a corner kick. Having said that, what you learn in this video applies to defending set pieces like corner kicks and free kicks. In the clip you just saw where I defended wrong, what did I do wrong? I lost my defender because my back was turned to the defender and I was facing the ball. In the play I did correct, I had my body turned sideways. Now I'm backpedaling and I can see the ball and the attacker. Key points. Key point number one. Stand with your body open so you can see the defender and the ball. This, not this. Key point number two. Have your arms out pointing at the ball and the defender. It should look like this. Key point number three. Be goal side of the attacker. This means keep the attacker in front of you so you are between them and the goal. If they get behind you, now they have that one to two seconds of space they need to get their shot off and all you can do is watch it. Key point number four. Be physical and win your battles. Don't be scared to make some contact. Don't foul, of course, and don't cheap shot anybody, but don't be scared of nobody. Ain't scared. Attackers will run by you all day if you don't get your body in the way and make some contact. For tips on how to win headers in a 1v1 header situation, watch this OSA video. For tips on how to be aggressive, Watch this OSA video. You need to be strong mentally. That aggressive video will help. Key point number five. The last point I want to make is what to do in a long run situation. What I'm talking about is when a winger is breaking down the sideline and you are running side by side at full speed with a forward. At that time, it is not a good idea to turn around and run backwards while they run forward. That won't work and they will be much faster than you. In this situation, you will be running with the player, but keep your eye on them. Then, when you get closer to the position where the winger is going to cross, that is when you turn your body to be in proper shape. To practice this by yourself, you're just going to simulate a game situation. You don't need a ball or cones. Have you bought a Believe In It shirt yet? If not, I think you should, and I'm confident you will love Believe In It apparel. It's apparel for motivated athletes. Buy yours today at BelieveInItApparel.com and send me a pic of you and your Believe In It shirt so I can give you a shout out. Now, for an exercise we can do to practice, we will do two different exercises. First exercise, imagine the ball is on the right sideline. Pretend to be defending an attacker using the key points. Move side to side a bit, forwards and backwards to get the feel for it. Do this for 30 seconds, rest, and then repeat five times. Second exercise, imagine the ball is on the left sideline and the winger is sprinting down the sideline with the ball and you are in a foot race defending the forward. Sprint back about 20 yards, then quickly turn your body to get in good defensive positioning for the cross. Move around for 10 seconds in good defensive positioning. Light jog back, rest, and then repeat five times. This could be some good fitness work too, just saying. Some things that could be going wrong. If you're constantly losing your attacker because you can't see them, then your back is to the attacker. Turn your body so you see the ball and the attacker. 
It sounds easy, but it's not easy to make it look easy. Big shout out to Believe In It athlete Diego Arias. He is pictured in the middle. A while back, Diego posted a video titled, Goal, Chase Every Ball Down, Never Give Up on a Play. You can watch it here. The video is a great lesson, and that is why we gave Diego a spotlight in our Online Soccer Academy e-newsletter. Keep up the great work, Diego. Bonus tip, be smart. The best players are the smartest players. Don't just rely on your athletic abilities to make a play every time. When you are in your room after a hard training session, watch some highlight videos and study the best defenders in the world. See what they do when they're defending corners. A great way to learn is by watching players better than you. Hope you enjoyed this Online Soccer Academy training video. Like and share this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or sign up for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Our free OSA e-newsletter comes out weekly. It features training videos, player spotlights, motivational quotes, and much more. Post a comment and let me know how this video worked for you. My name is Jared Muntz, and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!